let's set up Tickpinity in a way that helps you get more subscribers and gifts on TikTok Live. While this guide focuses on making money, I'll put my longer Tickfinity guide both below and it's on my channel. And we start with the Tickfinity basics. So download Tickfinity. I'll put my affiliate link, which will give you a discount on Pro. That is for new users. And I'll put that link both on screen and in the description. Click on the setup page and just make sure you've logged in and make sure you've added in the correct username. And once again, click on setup and click on TikTok login and just make sure you are logged in to TikTok. So let's go through our five methods for making more money with Tickfinity. And I'm going to start by scrolling down and heading to the TTS chat page, which is text to speech. And basically this can read out loud messages that your viewers send. Now, how does this make you money? Well, if you set it up like I've set it up here, you can set text to speech to gifters and subscribers only. And I've also allowed mods. So effectively, this incentivizes people to send you money. So you can copy these settings if you want. In this example, you can see it says comment starts with dot. So if my subscribers or gifters type a message into the chat that starts with a dot, then it gets read out loud on the stream. And the voice tester is at the bottom and you can see where it says voice mine is set to ghost face. And let's just play it to hear what it sounds like. So before we play it out in this example, if the viewer types dot followed by this is a test, this is what it would sound like. Testicer says this is a test. Now, why did it read out their name as well? Because underneath advanced, I've added brackets nickname says into the template. This just helps me as the streamer understand who is sending the message. So I don't have to look in chat. I can just hear the text to speech and it reads out loud the username as well. Now, how do you configure the text to speech to work? Well, all you need to do is make sure your desktop audio is being picked up. So underneath the audio mixer, check the audio section here, click on the cog underneath audio, click into general settings, and then just make sure you've selected the correct headset that you've got. For example, I've got my cloud to wireless and press save and the sound will just play through my headset. And as you can see, live studio or OBS or whatever you're using, is now picking up my headset so the viewers will hear the TTS. I'll put my live studio guide in the description if you want to fully set up live studio, but of course I would need to add my mic in as well. Let's move on to our second way of making money through Tickfinity. Let's click onto the sound alerts page. And this one's pretty simple. I start by enabling the sounds. So that box is checked. And then I click create sound alert. And basically I can assign a sound to a specific gift. Before we choose the gift, let's just click select sound. And as you can see, the sounds are provided by myinstance.com, which is a popular meme sound library. But you can also just click upload to upload your own custom sound. Or you can just type it in. So if I want something from The Simpsons, I might type Simpson in. And you can press play to hear what you want. Or if you type nothing in, it's just selecting some popular sounds. For example, if I want the anime wow sound, I can just press apply. And then simple as this, I just scroll through the list and find the gift I want. Or I can just manually type something in to find the gift I want as well. Exactly the same as with the TTS. Check the audio mixer on your software and just make sure your headset's added. So here again, my headset is added to Live Studio. Same with OBS, Streamlabs or whatever else you're using. We can double check it because why not? You just press the play icon. And as you heard, it played the anime wow sound. So why is that gonna make you more money? Well, again, you're just trying to incentivize people to send gifts. People are more likely to send gifts if something happens alongside the chat message and animation. Now, you might be asking, how do they know what to send? Well, you can just tell them or they can just work it out by sending different gifts. But there is a nice feature. This is inside the overlay gallery. And if I click on interaction slider on the left, I have to scroll up a bit. This interaction slider, you can add this to Live Studio, OBS, Meld, whatever you're using and it will literally tell them what to send and what happens. So this is tied to both the sound alerts page and the actions and events page. So if I click on my sound alerts page, you can say I've got donut with the Keck W sound, TikTok with the Vine Boom sound. But also if I click on my actions and events page, I've not fully configured it, but in this example, I've got an action named show picture. And if I was to fully configure it, I would actually check the show picture box and choose a picture. But just for this rapid demo, I've got an action named show picture, which would put a picture on the screen. And underneath events, I've assigned it to the sunglasses gift. And of course, I've assigned the action, which is show picture. And if I go back to the overlay gallery, I click on interaction slider. You can see that any action 
or any sound alert that is assigned to a specific gift is showing on this interaction slider. So I just copied the URL of the interaction slider underneath sources, press the plus button. It's similar on OBS as well. Choose link. This is a browser source on OBS. Control V to paste it. Custom resolution. It seems to just be a scrolling carousel, so I can probably reduce the height. Let's try 250. Press add source. Looks like I got the height broadly correct. So here it is. And then you just place it on the screen where you want. Of course, you can resize it, shrink it down as well if you wish. And then once you've placed it where you want, lock it into place on the left, right click, rename. And this was the interaction slider, just so you understand which link is which. Once again, if you want more info about assigning specific actions and events, for example, showing a picture on the screen when you get a specific gift, I'll put my longer Dickfinity guide both. It's on my channel and I'll put it in the description. Now here's another way to incentivize gifts and that is the gift overlays page here. And you could add top gift, top streak. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and focus on the gift counter. So as we said earlier, one way to incentivize gifts is to explain what happens if people send a gift. And it could be something happens in Tickfinity. For example, a sound being triggered. If you're playing a game, it could be something that happens in your game, or it could be something in real life. So for example, let's say I have a pet that I often show on screen, like a cat or a dog. We could set a rose goal to buy some pet food. For example, we could change the goal number to a thousand. We could change the title to pet food. And now the viewers are more incentivized to send a rose because they know what it's going to. Of course, they can't see this yet because we haven't added it to the stream. Before we add it, you can decide what happens when we hit the goal. For example, we can just double it every time. You can press customize. And this just tweaks all of this stuff here, like the font and stuff like that. And now let's copy the URL and add it to our live stream. So once again, let's go back into Live Studio. Again, you can add it anywhere. You can add it to OBS, Streamlabs, Meld, wherever. We're gonna add a link source, Control V to paste it in. Custom resolution, let's try 300 by 300. We might have to tweak this a little bit. Looks good enough to me. So once again, we're gonna right click, rename it on the left. I'll call this one Rose Goal. And once again, we can place this wherever we want it on the screen. So for example, in the bottom right of where my camera would be. And we've now got our pet food goal for the rose. So we've talked a lot about incentivizing gifts and subscribers, but here's another way to incentivize it. If I scroll down and click on timer, you can extend the amount of time that you do your live stream with a subathon timer. Now what this does in my example here, if I scroll down for every coin I get, for example, every rose I get, it adds a second onto this timer. And for every subscriber I get, it adds 360 seconds. Now, the way this is set up is I've basically thought, how much money do I wanna make per hour as a minimum? And this is roughly configured to make you $20 per hour. In other words, if you don't get the gifts or subscribers that were gonna make you $20 an hour, the stream just ends because the timers hit zero. Of course, they are relying on you in the stream to be truthful and stream the amount of time that it says. And of course, I probably recommend setting a cap. So how do we add this? Make sure once again, you copy the URL. Don't forget to start it, by the way, when you start your live stream. And make sure you have a default starting value. So even if you get no gifts, we're gonna stream for 30 minutes here. You can assign an action as I've done for when the timer hits zero. And once again, we copied the URL. So let's just add it into Live Studio, OBS or Streamlabs. Once again, it's a link source, Control V to paste, custom resolution. It didn't seem very big. Let's try 200 by 100. Again, you might have to tweak this a little bit. Again, that looks fine. I'll just shrink it down a little bit. And then once again, we will just place this wherever we want it on our live stream. Right click, rename. I'll call it Subathon Timer. And make sure you lock it into place. I forgot to lock the rose gold into place as well. So you don't accidentally click on it. So now the timer is ticking down. And finally, you can use Tickfinity to control your video game. Tickfinity has plugins for various games, including Minecraft, Java, and GTA, but it also has a keyboard control plugin that works in any game. In this example here from my 2024 Minecraft tutorial, you can see a rose would spawn a creeper or a money gun would spawn 20 TNT. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put videos on the screen for GTA Chaos Mod, for the Minecraft Java Tickfinity plugin and for Tickfinity's keyboard control, depending on your game. 